Hello, good morning. It's Ail Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Tuesday's trading, 18th of October 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, markets this morning, certainly pushing higher. Okay, certainly pushing higher, but even after the uh, stronger inflation data out of the UK, market certainly pushing higher, but that will be tested, especially on the FTSE later on. Okay, in terms of uh, Asian markets, the Chinese uh, market certainly rebounding after yesterday's sharp sell-off, and uh, certainly a reversal. You have the Shanghai up 1.3%, and the Hang Seng up 1.5%, although the Nikkei certainly remains subdued and remains weak, okay, given the fact that Mr. RB or Corolla certainly wasn't as uh, dovish as before as they rely on the uh, the US to potentially ra raise uh, rates. So the FTSE 100 currently up 1%, DAX up 1% along with the CAC as well. Also help by, uh, helped by a weaker euro going into Mr Draghi on Thursday. In terms of economic news this morning uh, and overnight we've had the RBA minutes. We've had uh, the uh, retail uh, RPI and CPI out of the UK, and both certainly coming in stronger than expected. So stronger inflation numbers basically means a stronger sterling, and that's exactly what we're observing this morning, sterling at 1.2260, and uh, certainly indicates uh, less chance of further QE, and uh, certainly increases the chances of a potential rate hike, okay? It erodes your disposable income and therefore for the consumer it's certainly negative and given the fact that consumption is a large part of GDP it certainly doesn't bode well for equities going forward okay and again it's a negative factor in terms of technicals let's just bring up the technical picture for the FTSE 100 let's have a look here folks looking at the daily chart first and foremost again yesterday's candle was a bearish engulfing today we have an inside bar basically consolidation within yesterday's candlestick 60 minute chart certainly has thrust higher so the double bottom at 69 69 well to be precise is 6936 caught it 6940 just round off now 6940 as you can see previous resistance equals support has held us far uh, we are into fib 75 percent resistance on the FTSE on the 60 minute chart and therefore looking for a, a, a reversal given given the fact that we have uh, inflation data stronger than expected okay folks right so FTSE itself certainly looking for a retracement here yeah, you can clearly see resistance at 7025 certainly an important level although i didn't expect the markets to move as high as that okay we have an unfilled gap below at 6940 so remain cognizant of that okay so it's important and don't be surprised if that gap actually closes that's all i'm going to say for now okay don't be surprised if that gap closed in the back of stronger inflation, therefore it's bearish for equity. So certainly uh, no surprise there at all. Although having said that, we have had China obviously stronger overnight, so bear that in mind. But the, that has been factored in now from 6940 up to uh, 7025. Uh, that's almost an 85 point move, folks. Okay, so that certainly has been factored in uh, at present. Okay, so certainly uh, watch for resistance at 7025. Okay, moving on to the German DAX now. Let's go to the daily chart of the German DAX. Okay, German DAX itself, even though we have a weaker euro, we still have failed to move higher on the German DAX. And given the fact that uh, the NASDAQ certainly started to move yesterday, it, it certainly has started to uh, tick higher. So the NASDAQ and the DAX certainly are interwoven, so bear that in mind. 60-minute chart at the moment, you are now coming into key resistance. This is someone here. Key resistance and then obviously we have double top as well now we have left uh, multiple unfilled gaps behind so that certainly isn't a healthy sign so bear that in mind certainly seem to be overextended and over exhausted uh, exhausted from my perspective now and certainly looking for a move lower now the unfilled gap below is at 10 500 we call it 10 620 so almost 120 point move and that certainly has factored in all the good news so certainly look for a, a reversal very shortly the french cac already has started after hitting its pivot r3 resistance French CAC certainly started to move lower already, looking for a gap fill at 4450. So, again, don't be surprised if the gap closes, okay? It's more of a NASDAQ led move higher overnight, okay? Although, like I said, Shanghai index certainly is higher as well. 
but bear that in mind now you certainly have uh, multiple zones of resistance on the French CAC and therefore looking when expecting for weakness here and again like I said the unfilled gap below certainly remains a focus okay euro stocks let's have a look at euro stocks now there we go euro stocks this is uh, an index that i've already opened up a short position on okay given the fact that you are into horizontal resistance on the 60 minute chart the daily chart at the moment again is into resistance as well and if i go into the smaller time frames 10 minutes you can see that we've exceeded we've certainly smashed hit into um, uh, pivot r3 resistance and therefore looking for a reversal with the unfilled gap below at 3008 so don't be surprised if you are looking for a flush here as well uh, any flush really if i take the pivot low to high so take the pivot low to pivot high uh, you're looking at a retracement of 38 to 50 percent potentially 60 percent and they are your potential support zones 30 25 and 20 and that's a potential profit taking area on my short position okay folks right uh, the nasdaq certainly has helped the uh, market move higher with the ibm or, and, and netflix as well okay certainly have lifted sentiment overnight and chinese market certainly pushing higher as well the dollar certainly coming off uh, and helping oil above 50 but all that certainly has factored in the uh, the bullish news and now looking for a reversal again FTSE 100 in terms of the retracement we could certainly get a hundred percent retracement or we could retrace down to 6990 you're looking at potential that's your first level of resistance but i do think we are going to we are going to surpass that and uh, don't be surprised if you hit this 50 to 61 percent retracement folks okay again like i said uh, stronger inflation is actually bearish for the stock market bearish okay especially for the FTSE 100 Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus.